I'm wondering about this from a, a star player's perspective because you've been there. Here's LeBron. Do, would you want to play? Would you want to go into that situation if you're a free agent? That's tough. You know, I I know he's focused on this year and, you know, the process of this year. Um, but it is still LeBron James, and it is still somebody that has gotten to the finals um, with, you know, with the Heat, with, with Cleveland, with teams that had not as much talent as others have had. So you still put yourself in a great situation. And he did miss 16, 17 games this season. So those are all things that you have to look at. Um, I think it depends on the fit, but they're going to have to do something through either free agency or through the trade market to get, uh, get him a Batman or get him a Robin, I should say, to his Batman. Yeah, I just don't know if I like. I'm looking at the personalities here. Is is Clay Thompson going to be interested in that? Would Kawhi be interested in that? Um, you know, is there somebody else out there that you go, boy? Anthony Davis looks like he has the personality that he would be okay in that situation, uh, where he doesn't need to be the star and he wants to play in Los Angeles and play with LeBron. But I, I just don't know if there's you know, a, a great inventory of people are going to want to go into that circus there. Kawhi talked about that before. KD's not going to want to get into that. So, so like, where are you getting a second tier? Are you getting a couple of Bs instead of one A player in the offseason? Well, Clay Thompson is in the absolute perfect situation for him. It doesn't seem like he would want to leave, nor should he. Uh, the same, I, you know, I'd say for KD, obviously, he's up in the air about where he's going to go. But when you're trying to win a championship and you're playing with one of the b- biggest stars and Steph Curry in the NBA, I don't know why you would <laughs> leave a number one place team. That's just me. You asked, you know, you asked as, as a player's point of view, but you know, I, I do believe that they're going to attract um, somebody. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not huge on Kawhi going there to play with LeBron. Um, I, you know, I said from the, from the get go, if there was a way for them to get a Bradley Beal, uh, to 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 play with the mm. Lakers, I really like his fit. I think it would be great. I mean, I know it's um, you know there's a, he's under contract, and obviously with John Wall being out, I don't know if they're going to trade him now. But I like that sort of superstar because if you think about it, yes, he went to the NBA Finals and won a championship with um, you know w- with Kyrie Irving, but he just needs pieces around him where, especially at this point in his career. He's going to be able to get to the paint at will. He needs people that are going to be able to knock down shots and, and get a shot for themselves. And that's what Bradley Beal does. And I like I really love his game and think he would be fantastic with the Lakers. Yeah, wonderful shooter. This is a team that doesn't shoot free throws well. They don't shoot threes well. And they have more turnovers than I think all but two teams there. I mean, you really got to... <laughs> Other than that, we're in great shape going into next season here. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.